I think they graphed just the printout, but I don't remember what it was.
Good morning, FHS. Today is Monday, May 20th, 2024. Would you please join me in a minute of silence? Please stand if you are able and join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and have a great day. All right, good morning. Um, I've got some reminders I need to give you guys and uh, of course some work time for the semester exam. All right, so we'll start off with the semester exam information. Um, well, first off, I know some of you are trying to exempt and the list of exemption stuff is hopefully coming soon, but they have not emailed that to us yet. So when you guys submit that form, the office or the offices, plural, um, do most of the checks for us because we don't have time to do the checks manually ourselves. So that should be out hopefully this period since I don't want you to have to make a special trip to come back to make sure that you're exempt. But I'll get to that again at the end. But for those of you taking the final exam, either because you didn't apply for exemptions, you didn't meet the requirement meant for exemptions or just because you want to try to boost your grade all of those are perfectly fine um, but a few things you need to keep in mind <coughs> uh, we do allow a calculator on the entire final exam so there's a ton of stuff we did with no calculator so that gives you some options and should make things easier and give you a lot of options as far as checking your work so you might want to keep that in mind as you work through the semester test review uh, we do allow a note card, as long as it's a standard 3 inch by 5 inch note card. If you don't have any, I can give you one. It does have to be handwritten, no typing, uh, but you can write on the front and the back. I think I misspoke and said front only last week, but we decided front and back was okay. Now, one thing to consider about that is that we don't provide any formulas for you on the final exam. So, the very first unit we did this semester was Law of Sines, Law of Cosines. We didn't make you memorize any of those formulas. We put those on the test for you. If you want to know what those formulas are, you have to squeeze that in as part of your note card. We won't provide any formulas for you. But you can do formulas, examples, identities, trig identities, unit circle, anything that you would like. Um, now, our 
final exam is comprehensive, but it is only over second semester stuff. So the stuff on the semester test review is what I would look over. So make sure that uh, you prepare a note card because, of course, that's not going to hurt anything. If anything, it's going to help. Um, and if you have your own calculator, make sure you bring that. I still don't have my classroom calculators back, but I should be getting those back. Um, I would definitely have those by the test day. All right, our semester test it does go in as a 50 point test grade. So if you choose to take the final exam or if you have to take the final exam, um, whatever you get on the final exam will go in as a 50 point test grade. But in addition to that, if it's higher than your low test grade, throughout the semester, then I can do a grade replacement for it as well. So one more test grade can help. Some of you move your grade a little bit one way or the other, but with the grade replacement, it could potentially swing your overall grade quite a bit, depending on how low your lowest grade was. So for some of you that are exempt, that's why some people decide to go ahead and take it anyway, especially with the grade replacement. Your grade can jump up quite a bit, uh, again, depending. So what I need you guys to do today is finish up the semester exam review. So remember this is the one extra requirement we put on top of exemption stuff. So as you finish that, I'd be happy to scan it, give you the points. It'll go in as a 40 point uh, grade. And when exemption stuff comes through, I can tell you if you met all the other exemption requirements and hopefully give you final confirmation while you're here today. If you're taking the final exam, you need to also work on the semester test review because that's helping you prepare, helping you figure out what needs to go on a note card, et cetera, et cetera. But you can turn in your final exam review the day of the final if you don't have it finished today. So I'll still give you full credit up until we start the final exam. But once we start the final exam, then it will be too late to come back and get it. So you want me to check it today, even if you're taking the final, I'd be happy to do that. But if you forget it, leave it at home, which is pretty common around final exam time, then you'll miss out on those points. Yeah? What day is the final for our class? Uh, on the right there, I did put up the times. So you probably want to go find in student announcements anyway for the rest of your finals. Uh, but for ours, it will be Wednesday at normal class time. You see it over there? In the red? Yes. Okay. Um, if you brought back your textbook today, obviously I'd love to have that. Uh, if you forgot it, you can bring it anytime this week. Again, I just warn you that a lot of times on semester exam days, like Friday, we have a faculty meeting after testing. Wednesday, I'll have a PLC meeting. Thursday, I have to help a teacher move some of her stuff that's not coming back next year. So it's, it's a little difficult to find me in the afternoon. And in the past, some students have left their book at the door and it has gone missing and you're still responsible for that. You need to make sure that when you bring it back, don't just put it in the bookshelf because then it gets mixed up and nobody knows that it's been turned in. Make sure that you bring it to me. So if you have yours today and you don't think you're gonna use it to study for the final exam, it makes sense to just go ahead and let me check it in. And I can do that in just a second. So I will actively be checking my email so I can tell you as soon as I get that exemption list and let you know. But in the meantime, I can start checking semester test reviews. If they're finished, give you the grade. I can start checking in textbooks. Um, and if you have questions that you need help with from the semester exam review, then of course I'm available for that as well. So any other questions? I do have some note cards, so if you need to borrow one, you want to make one for this class, I'll have those up here. Just help yourself.
and I'm gonna try to email you all about this later, but you might wanna look this over a week or two before you come back next year to help out with calculus a little bit. Thank you. I didn't think you were gonna be here. You know, you're marked as a uh, parent contact. I know, I was just running a little late. Oh, okay.